Hi and welcome back to Rags to Riches. I'm Lauren and today's video is basically what I have found at my granddad's house. Um, this is pretty much all of the, well this is what's left. We've pretty much cleared out about, I want to say about three rooms. Chock-a-block full, like just a mess, complete mess. It just looked like the rooms, if you've seen on my previous videos, you might have. Um, it was just boxes and stuff and it's been needing to get sorted out for a really long time and we finally had time to do it and me setting up this eBay business has been a big learning curve because I know what to look out for and what to pick up in charity shops and car boots. Um, <coughs> I still have a cold. It's going now, it's moving. That's the main thing. So I have three big bags full of stuff and there's all sorts, literally all sorts. Poppy, give up. It's a dog trying to get her food stash. So, yep. Right. Everything is vintage. It's crazy. There's a dead spider on it. Oh my God, the first thing I pull out. Oh, it's there. Uh... Oh. Ooh, I just didn't expect it. So these are some, uh, they're not vintage, these are my mum's curtains and oh gosh, she got these curtains when I was probably about four I want to say. So I'm 20, I'm 24 now, I have to really think about that, I've just had a birthday. You know, you've got, you just had a birthday and you're like, I'm um, um, 24. <laughs> so yeah, so these are really old, these are like 20 year old these curtains. So yeah, they could be classed as vintage. Yeah. Um, yeah, so these are curtains. I want to say they are Laura Ashley fabric. Does anyone recognise that? I don't know. There's there's just it's a lot of curtains, so that is a lot of measurement. Um, yeah. I really don't know what I'm pricing these at, guys. So I will probably say a few items that I'll be pricing them at. But other than that, I really don't know. Um, I do know this though. Um, I can't even say it. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know how to say it. This bowl, fruit bowl, dog bowl. When I checked this in the summer, the beginning of the summer, this was about £20. It's really, really heavy. Um, it just looks like a giant dog bowl to me. Um, yeah, uh, it's a plant pot probably, um, not really much to say about that, there you go, 20 quid, whatever that brand is, it will be vintage that one, gosh, there's just all sorts, like, everything and everything, completely cleared it out now, so, there'll be little, little bits and bobs that I go, so this is just a big bag full of this fabric print, Oh, it's like bows, quite pretty, it's, but yeah, I'm guessing my mum maybe want curtains for that. See, some things are, stop that with that, some things are my mum's and some things are my grandma's, but yeah, the, I don't even know what to say, there's just that much stuff. Aha, uh -huh, vintage hoodie. So, yeah. I don't really know. I'll have to do some research on that. Probably 20 quid. I don't know. Like I say, I've come unprepared. Most of my videos are prepared. I have a list in front of me of what I've paid and what I've sold it for. Not sold it for. Well, yeah, sometimes sold it for. I just don't know anymore. Aha. I have one of these already and it's in red. This is a English lady vest and I have a red one currently. To me, oh, it's got pockets. It's got pockets. That could be a dress, you know. Like, in today's slutty world, it could be a dress. Because that. That could be a dress. I thought there was another spider on me. I just, oh, I'm getting goosebumps. Bit of colour for you now, guys. Bit of colour. It's inside out, that always helps. This is a slimmer, slimmer skirt. Now this will probably range from 4 99 to about 
$8.99, not eight, yeah, no, four ninety nine to eight ninety nine. that is the price range I'll probably put it at, it's just the A-line big skirt, so, hey, we've done one bag, I thought this video was going to be like 45 minutes, but now I've just gone through one bag, quite confident now guys, quite confident, right, this one, <clears throat> Sorry, I'm really, I'm sorry. I need a cup of tea. Just need a cup of tea. So this one I've just picked up a minute ago and got absolutely stabbed by it. There's, there was a needle in it still. So this, oh. Oh, I'm going to have to really lay this out and when I measure it, more hard work. But I've got to get up to my goal, which is 450 listings. And to keep it there, this is why I have done this at the beginning of the month. So, this is, I don't even, this is to go at the top of the curtain. So, does everyone get that? Yep. Yeah. These tassel things, oh, I don't, they have not been sewn on and they have been, well, you can see. And then the needle. Yeah, you can see the needle, it's there. So, they're all along it. And I don't want to touch it anymore because that really friggin' hurt. <laughs> I won't be good as a diabetic. Right. This is, I don't know whether it is real or fake, but it is the beautiful animal print style. And it's very autumn for this time of year, autumn feel. It feels autumn-y bag. And I don't know whether it's leather or not. I really don't. To say I work in a sofa factory, <clears throat> and we see but the inside has got that that dotting so that makes me think it's real leather hand created by Alan Sutherland made in England I really don't know I think I'm going to have to do my research but that could be worth a small fortune I could retire <laughs> you never know that is the art of eBay. You never know. Right, Mark Suspensers. Just some vintage. Ooh, that's a nice little bit of detail on it, isn't it? Ooh, we're getting a bit fancy with our black trousers now from the vintage era. Don't know what era, but they're just some black trousers. I'm actually going to start separating clothes up from curtains. That would be an excellent decision white darks let's get this washed <clears throat> i'm really sorry right oh these are new she's never even worn them done it oh, even she's got a little bit more detail on it she must have got these on sale some more trousers right i've just sold some marks and spencer trousers this style in green you've probably just seen the previous video of what sold on ebay um them trousers went for £5, so I'm probably looking at £5 for trousers. What else we got? It's like Christmas. Another skirt, like I said, 4 pounds to 8 99 That is just boring and black, so probably on the lower end. I tend to put... Now thinking about it, the, the plain stuff goes for less, and the more weird and wacky go for more. I just don't want to find something else. Ooh. <clears throat> this is see-through as hell. Like you can't see that it's see-through, but it is see-through. Ah, oh, there you go. You can see it see-through. This is a skirt. This probably did not belong to my nana. This probably belonged to my mum. I hope she wore something underneath. Oh, it's Per Una. Collection Italia. Ooh. So yeah, that is a very witchy skirt. <laughs> right, <clears throat> my mum used to collect, in fact she she doesn't collect anymore, she just still has her basic stuff. This is a price guide. Um, my mum says, oh that'll be worth something. That'll be worth something. You want to put that on eBay, so we're just going to try it. I don't really like dealing in books. I find them easy to list, don't get me wrong, if that's your thing, books are your thing, good for you, hon, you do you, but I don't like doing it. They're easy to list and that is it to me. 
uh, I just don't like doing them. I just don't, I, probably because I've had bad luck with it. Like, things not got profit in it. I probably just haven't got that. I don't know why I put this in the bag, because it was a stain on it. Um, Amari, I don't know if I'm saying it right. Cardigan, very cricket style. I might even put that in the description. Cricket style, cardigan, vintage. I'm probably hoping it was from the cricket thing. Don't follow cricket. <laughs> bag within a bag um so whether the d together is like the this is a shirt this i'm showing you everything so wrong <clears throat> when was that book issued six times a year 2000 Ooh. there is literally all sorts in those some pictures. I don't think it's in that. No, they're probably just the prices. No, they are not the prices. Oh, they are the prices. Yeah. Any hoosie. This is a together shirt. It's quite pretty. I don't know what I'm going to sell this for. It Honestly, this, it probably depends how it hangs on the mannequin for me. But there is a lot of creases in that. Alright. Another shirt. This probably won't go for a lot. That was my air freshener. That probably won't go for a lot either. If you can hear my partner's on the Xbox and he gets very passionate. We'll just leave him to it in his household. You're probably thinking, oh my god, you're with someone who's got on the Xbox, blah 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 blah. Listen, I'd rather him be in the house. Then they're going to the pub, spending money we don't have. Well, we do have it, but... You know what I'm saying. It's cheaper just to go on the Xbox. Cardigan, cream. I don't know if it's if it's Canada. Like, is it made in Canada or is it the brand called Canada? Don't know. Like I say, have to do research. LC, it's just a jumper, it's inside out, nothing amazing, plain, a lot of banana stuff was plain, there, there is some funky items coming up there, let me tell you, and saucy, that I'm going to try, <laughs> another cardigan, but this has got some very 80s style buttons, like how Chanel-esque is that, beautiful, Yes, darling. I have the Chanel. It's fake. <laughs> oh. I'm going to start sneezing soon. I can feel it. I'm just getting all like... Ugh. This stuff has not been touched in 11 years. This is a dress. Just stripey. Probably about 12 99 on that one. Yeah, there's not much to say. <laughs> oh, I think we need to put eating on. I'm getting cold. Aha. This is vintage. Machino Mare. Now that, for me, I might keep it. More fabric. It looks like... It's like... Lace. It looks... It's made to look like lace. But it's not lace. Probably to make some netting curtains. Probably. That never got made. I feel like my mum has made <laughs> many little projects for herself. Oh, I buy that and I do that with that and I do that with that and I do that with that. And it never gets done. <laughs> and then I just sell it. Next. Literally next. Cardigan. I don't, I, if you guys find that neck sells, I don't. <laughs> right, we found this. What, oh, it's on tip of my tongue, what does it look like? Versace. So 
looks very Versace-esque belt. I probably, it's just a wrap belt and it's glittery as you can see. The other side is just like that. So you've got like, ooh, it'd be a good headband, wouldn't it? <laughs> Feeling very playful. Um, I'll probably put that as like vintage Versace style belt. Don't know what I'm going to ask for it. Don't ask me. Don't know. So a lot of this stuff I can, well, but I have to what I'm going to wash everything and then I'll list everything. Every, my room is trying to smell like vintage, so I have to hurry up. This is a brown plain skirt, probably on the lower end. Nothing amazing. This is, it looks like it is St. Michael's. St. Michael's. Okay. Oh god, I'm totally up with this. Right, my granddad has just. It, the weather has been shocking recently in England. Shocking. Especially in my area. And my granddad had a leak, and it was like it was made to be that today was the day that I went and went through the these certain drawers. Poppy, go away from the. the blooming stabby curtains. Um. Yeah. It was like it was meant to be before these clothes got ruined and mouldy. These are some red trousers and the wet. They are wet. I think I'm going to put the wet stuff in a different pile because I'm going to need them washing first. Yeah, there was wet. There's been a leak in my granddad's house. My granddad's house is old. Old. Um, St. Michael's. Black trousers. Nothing amazing. Probably won't even get £5 for them. These stuff is really smelling. They have not been aired out ever. Red skirt. Pleated, probably been ironed too much. Probably favourite skirt, of my nan's probably. Poppy! Dog's barking, house is crazy. Oh, God, this is wet as well. Yeah, just a dress. You know what, guys? This is wet. No, it's not. I find that the most ugliest vintage stuff sells. It's ridiculous. And yes, I have a spot on my nose. <laughs> Funky shirt. This will sell very quick because it's disgusting. When I say disgusting, it's probably your style. It's just not my cup of tea. Like I like pretty things and flowy things. And this is some fabric that I believe is in style right now, which is madness. It's just so much stuff. But it's going to get me to be 450. It's going to get me way above. I think I'm on 444 right now. Could be worse. It could be 666. <laughs> right. Some trousers. More trousers. Have you heard me before? I don't like dealing in trousers. I don't know if I already said that. Right. <clears throat> As we were emptying this drawer, me and my mum found some bodysuits. And they are St. Michael's. Very. Well, not very sexy. They're just ladies stuff. <laughs> so, we've never did, I've never sold these before, ever. Ever, ever, ever. It's my first time coming across them, so that's one of them. I'm putting these separate because I don't know if they need hand washing. We've got this one. It's very... I can't even speak today. Mar Marilyn Monroe S. So, some. I don't know if these are meant to be kinky or just to hold everything in. But yeah. They are vintage and there might be some money in it. I don't know. I haven't done the research. If not, they're just going straight in the bin because I am not taking these to the charity shop. Because sometimes you take things into the charity shop and you just go quickly have a look. And they're emptying the bag right there and then. And you're like, oh, no, don't do that. <laughs> Let me get out. Okay. No idea what we've got here because I didn't open this bag. <clears throat> Just a plain. This is, you can't see, it looks black here. Oh, look. It's navy blue jumper. They can actually... She bought two. 
the same. It was in a bag. They can get listed straight away because they smell okay. A okay. Right, this is inside out. This print is very floral. Is it wet? No, it's not wet. It's just cold. <laughs> Deans. Never heard of it. Not come across this one. I'm not wiping my nose, I've got an itch, I swear. <laughs> this is so bad. Right, there's a there's a matching belt with it, but it's it's through like that. I just don't know. Probably so she didn't lose it. So that's the dress. I don't know how it goes, I really don't, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, forgive me. There is a nice blue, right, this is my colour, blue polo, there. Okay, this is wet. This is a scarf thing to go with something else that's coming up soon. Oh, it stinks. Big dress, polka dot dress. You think that'd go quick, but it doesn't. Oh, God, that one stinks. That one can go straight in that pile because it stinks. It's just, you know, when you disrupt something, the smell. I don't know what it is. It smells like, it smells like something's died in this. <laughs> right. I think this this is a quite a nice print, personally. Um, Don't know who it's done by but that is a nice dress i'm gonna probably ask for about 24 pound on that 24.99 because i i like that one it's just a big long dress i'll list that one for you some, some green trousers who are you by st michael's never been worn still got the tag on <laughs> we're nearly done oh it's wet i don't want to be nearly but it's wet <laughs> it's a pearl jumper, there you go. Oh, not that pile, that pile. Got an itchy ear now. <clears throat> what is this? Oh, this is wet. Ugh. It's a shirt. <laughs> You're probably all laughing at me. But that, that just got to back up throat, that smell. Right, you just got there. Freaking hell. Don't think about it, don't think about it. <clears throat> I've been no good on I'm a sub getting me out of here. I can't wait for that to come back on. Pity folds! I think that's what they're called, but this is what I'm calling it. It's just one of them. It's wet. All this stuff is wet now. It probably smells so bad. I know you can't smell it and I'm going on by it, but it's, I can't even describe the smell. It was just meant for me to get this stuff today because if I would have left it a month, it would have been all mouldy. So I'm just pleased I've saved it because I don't like waste. So another penny fold. This is quite a pretty print. There you go. Sorry, it just smells, I can't. Some red wet trousers and it's just gotta get this done. <laughs> okay. What are you and you oh I've sold this before. I've no like that print before and it went so quick, like ridiculous. Like I put it on with an hour and it sold, it was just like, Are you kidding me, you really want that? It was one of the matters where you think, Oh, I'm gonna have that for ages and it went Does anyone else find that that the most Hideous stuff to you just goes so quick. And then the things that you really like probably just stay on and you get about two watches and it never sells. Right, there you go. Yeah, it's just a zip up dress. S smock, 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 smock. Smock. 
I'm in a weird mood. I'm in a playful mood today. So, yeah. I went through all this stuff with my mum this evening and it was it was really nice to see her face light up and, oh, I can remember that. I remember you used to wearing that and, you know, bringing the memories back because I've been sitting in a drawer for 11 years, not doing anything. Um, so it was, it was really nice to see and, yeah, it was just, it was really nice. But I'm making a mess in my living room now. Oh, that belt scarf thing that I showed. I think this is to go with it. I'm not digging it out. I'm not digging it out. It's just a funky shirt. Yeah. Quite like this. And it, it stinks. Quality fashion. I don't know what I'm going to sell it for. I don't know if I'm getting cold or what. Because I'm getting really cold. Like goose bumping, shivering. Polo, it's a navy blue. That comes up in the wash straight away. Oh god, we've done it. We've done it. 26 minutes and 11 seconds. We've done it. Yeah. I've just found, like I've said, a lot of the vintage stuff is selling very quick. I am selling more vintage stuff than I am the stuff that I have got in charity shops, which is really strange to me. Because you'd think current fashion, you know, that I'm buying now would sell quick, but it's not. It just shows you there's a market for vintage stuff. And all of this, gosh. With the clothing, not the curtains. <coughs> Will you stop barking, please? Hey, hey, hey. Probably with the vintage stuff, there's about £250 worth of vintage stuff right here that I've showed you, you know, clothing wise. Um, and all the curtains and stuff, I've no idea. I have to go through all that and do some research. But I am really pleased that I've got that done. Um, and I'll probably just wash it this weekend. Wash it all, get it all dried, get it in piles. Because I normally what I normally do is when I'm going through all this vintage stuff, is I have put them into piles of, Tops, dresses, skirt, trousers. And then I'll do the skirt pile, the trouser pile. You, you get what I'm saying? It, it just makes it so much quicker to get through it. Just to get through it all like that. Um, I know this video has been a bit all over the place. I hope you've laughed at me. But some of the stuff stinks and I need to get it out of this my brand new living room because I don't want a vintage smelling sofa. I've just bought it. <laughs> just bought it. And I do love it. And even though I sit on the floor for the videos. Um, but yeah. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I probably won't make another one of these videos. Because I, like I said I've cleared everything out now. That's pretty much it. Um, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Comment below. If you want to message me on Instagram you can do. And I'll always message you back. Um, I can always help you find things. And stuff like that. I'm happy to help you. Um, don't forget to subscribe as well. Very, very important, guys. So you don't miss out on videos like this of me gagging at vintage stuff because it smells that bad. <laughs> I'm very, very curious about the underwear garments. Um, I just, there might be a market for it. You never know. I, I don't know. You've just got to take these risks sometimes. But they're not going to the charity shop. <laughs> Could you imagine? Oh. <laughs> now that's just not me. But yeah, don't forget to subscribe, guys. I hope you have some great sales and I hope you have some great times picking things up in charity shops and at car boots. And you never know what you could have in your own drawers at home that might be worth something. So don't forget to check that out as well. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.